Hey, how's your day? Hey, bro, you got a package. Oh, it's finally here? Yep. Here you go. Give me a blade. It's so small. What is it? Hey! iPhone 13 Pro Max, finally it's here. But before I even turn the phone on, I have to cover it up with proper protection. Cause if I break the screen or the backside, it would be quite impossible for me to give that much money to Apple to fix it. So first, screen protector. This is my first time installing a screen protector. But after following the instructions, it turned out to be an easy job. Now let's give some protection to the camera. For the back side, I got this cover. Now it looks well protected, isn't it? I also bought this phone ring holder to install in the back of the cover. You can do this with it, but what you can also do is to use it as a phone stand. Now let's talk about how I ended up buying this iPhone. If you watched my last two videos, you know that I burned the carpet of my previous apartment and for this reason I saved money the entire summer because I thought that landlord might charge me at least a thousand bucks to replace the carpet of the entire room. But what they ended up doing is just cutting the burn portion and replacing it with a good sample. In the end, I only had to give $60 for that incident. So you bought the iPhone from the savings of the summer right no that's not the case i bought this phone with this guy's help after the incident i wanted to be on the safe side so i limited my spending and saved around 1500 dollars in the summer and after the settlement with the landlord i had 1500 dollars sitting with me with no purpose i didn't know what to do with that so on september 20 I put the money in the stock market. At that time, Tesla stocks were selling at $726.54. And if you know me, you know that I am a big fan of Tesla cars. So I bought two of the Tesla shares at $1,453.08 and put rest of the money into my existing portfolio. Now let's talk about what happened after I bought that stock. I got those two stocks on September 20 and oh boy. Tesla was a bull the entire time. On October 28, the stock touched $1,100, making me question whether should I sell the stock or hold to gain more. So after some mental battle with myself, I decided to set a sell limit order at $1,200 a share. And on November 3rd, Tesla crossed that mark, which triggered my sell limit order and gave me $2,400 in total. So I made a total profit of $946.92 by just holding these two Tesla stocks for 44 days. In percentage, these two stocks gave me a 65.17% gain. Wow. So what did you do with that money? Fulfilling my desire to buy my first iPhone. Mainly I bought this for vlogging. It's like an investment to deliver some good contents. This year's iPhone's cinematic mode and the battery life of the Pro Max attracted me the most. So I decided to go with the 256 GB Pro Max version. With tax, I paid $1345.28. I also bought an Apple Watch Series 7 which supposed to come next week. Yes, I am moving to the Apple ecosystem. Alright, I'll be back with the Apple Watch and some more cool accessories in a glitch. I just got the Apple Watch here, so let me start by saying, hey, what's up crew? I salute you. Welcome to the coolest YouTube channel of the world. My name is Ina and welcome to Ina Life. So without further ado, let's open the box. Before I open it, as you can see, I have already changed the phone case. The cool thing about this is this camera protection slide. I couldn't resist buying it for this. All right, let's open the box. Well, if you watched my last video about my room tour, you know that how much I am dependent on the Smart Life app. Well, now I can open and control the app from my watch. 
How cool is that? Now let's come to the accessories. First this. I have a few watch bands from my previous watches but all of them are 22mm watch bands and the Apple watch uses this connection to connect the strap with the dial. So this converter allows me to use any 22mm watch band with my Apple watch. It's also cost effective because the Apple watch straps are way expensive than regular straps. This leather one is my new favorite, what do you think? Now it's time for protection. It comes in two packs and the top part is tempered glass. And I must say, it's very touch sensitive. I can't even tell the difference in touch with or without this protection case. In this box, there is a charging station. This charging station charges all of my Apple devices. The thing that impressed me the most about this Apple devices is the communication between them. Like when I take an AirPods out, the music automatically gets paused. And when I put that back, music resumes. Also with the Apple Watch, you can see and control the camera feed of the iPhone. Pretty handy to see if you're in the frame or not while vlogging. Alright, now let's come to these two accessories. Well, I was an Android user and all the cables I have are Type-C and I don't want to replace all of those with lightning ones. So I bought these converters. It comes with a pack of two. With this, I can convert any Type-C cable to a lightning one. And this round thing is to charge the Apple Watch. By having this, I don't have to carry a separate cable to charge the Apple Watch. Any Type-C cables with these two things is enough to juice all of my Apple devices. From my perspective, it makes life way convenient and don't worry. All the products I showed you today will be in the description. The last thing I want to show is nothing to do with the iPhone. It's this. What do you think it is? A water bottle, right? No, it isn't. It's a portable blender. I usually make smoothies with it, but I also use it to mix up regular liquids like coffee. charges with the type-c port and the blades are really powerful okay that's all i got for today more videos are on the way so bye what you're going without subscribing to me i am jumping from the plane still that's sad you know what i like numbers so what are you waiting for just do subscribe and i'll see you in the next video until then stay happy